Welcome learners. In our lesson today, we look at aim number five of the RH equation, that is determining percentage composed from the analyte. Example, 30 grams per mixture of potassium hydroxide and potassium sulfate is dissolved in water and solution made up to 500 single strip. 25 single strip of this solution required for 4.2 single strip of 0.2 molar dilute sulfuric acid. Determine the percentage of potassium sulfate in the mixture. Now, to answer this question, you have to follow the following steps. First, identify the analyte and then identify the standard solution. The analyte is the mixture of potassium hydroxide and potassium sulfate, while the standard solution is dilute sulfuric acid. Step followed to solve the question. One, determine the number of moles of sulfuric acid which is in this case the standard solution by taking molarity times volume of a thousand. Write the equation between potassium hydroxide and sulfuric acid. Note that potassium sulfate does not react in the reaction. So the equation is only between potassium hydroxide and dilute sulfuric acid. Then the next step is Use mole ratio to find the number of moles of potassium hydroxide in 25 single strips. Then the next step is determine the number of moles of potassium hydroxide in 500 single strips. The reason why I find the number of moles in 500 of potassium hydroxide is because the 30 grams of the mixture was dissolved in 500 single strips. Then the next step is determine the mass in grams of potassium hydroxide. In 500 single strip by saying mass in gram is number of moles times molar mass. Then next is determine the mass in grams of potassium sulfate in 500 single strip by taking the total mass 30 minus the mass of potassium hydroxide. Then the last step is determine the percentage of potassium sulfate in the mixture by taking the mass of potassium sulfate. Divide the total mass of 30 times 100 percent. So, solution to the question will be as follows Number of moles of sulfuric acid is MV over 1000, which is 0 0.2 times 44.2 over 1000. That gives you 0 0.00884 moles. Equation for the reaction potassium hydroxide plus sulfuric acid, RO, potassium sulfate, plus water. Balance the equation, place 2 where there is potassium hydroxide, then place 2 where there is water. Small ratio is 2 is to 1. Now from the ratio of 2 to 1, 1 is 0 0.00884, what about 2? Cross multiply, it gets 0 0.0 one seven six eight moles so that is the number of moles of potassium hydroxide in 25 single strip now number of moles of potassium hydroxide in 500 would be obtained as follows you say 25 single strip contains 0 0.01768 moles what about 500 cross multiply you get 500 single strip times 0 0.0168 over 25 that will give you 0 0.3536 moles. Now, mass in grams of potassium hydroxide will be the number of moles times the molar mass. The moles you are supposed to use is the moles of 500 because you need to know the mass of potassium hydroxide in 500, so you subtract from 30 to get the mass of potassium sulfate. So, mass in grams will be number of moles times the molar mass. Molar mass of potassium sulfur or potassium hydroxide is 39 plus 16 plus 1 gives you 56 gram per mole. So mass in grams will be 0 0.3536 moles times 56 gram per mole gives you 19.8016 grams. So mass of potassium sulfate will be total mass minus mass of potassium hydroxide. That is 30 minus 19.8016 gives you 
0.1984 grams. Percentage of protein sulfate will be the mass of protein sulfate divided by total mass times 100. That gives you 10.1984 over 30 times 100 gives you 39 points gives you the 3.99 percent learners in the next lesson we look at a sample paper 3 question under the aim of percentage composition of the analyte